gentleman from Texas is recognized for two minutes. I, I thank uh, my friend from Ohio and uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, I'm from the great state of Texas and uh, there is nothing great about the crisis at our border. It is unprecedented. It is unmitigated. It is ever escalating and it is absolutely absolutely self-inflicted and avoidable. And because of the actions of our commander-in-chief, whose first job is to protect the American people and the irresponsible and reckless unilateral actions, we've got chaos at our southern border and the American people are suffering for it. The poor, vulnerable people being abused by the cartels are suffering for it endless list of tragedies because of what's happening and what's coming out of the White House. And the answer, the solution in the midst of this crisis and disaster like we've never seen from my Democrat colleagues is to offer legislation to grant mass amnesty and citizenship, more green lights, more incentives, more welcome mats to continue to violate our sovereignty and to break our laws, not to be detained and deported, but to be released and rewarded, cut in line for millions of people. They don't get a free lawyer paid for by the taxpayers. I can't believe this is happening in our great country. I can't believe my Democrat colleagues are pouring gasoline and inflaming the situation with more of these no band acts tying the president's hands to do his job to prevent high-risk folks from coming to the U.S., giving legal counsel, giving navigators and people who can help aid and abet the exploitation Gentlemen's of our laws. Gentlemen's time has expired. Can I get well, yield the gentleman additional minute? Gentleman has additional minute. Madam Speaker, it makes no sense at all. In fact, Madam Speaker, it's insulting. We care about people. This country does more for the immigrant than any in the, in the world. We welcome those who want to make America their home, those God-fearing, freedom-loving families. But they've got to respect our sovereignty. They've got to respect the safety and security of the American people. They have to respect our laws. And I'm waiting for the Democrats to respect the laws of this land. I, 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 on this issue, I'm waiting but this is spitting in the face of these families and communities that are terrified. Ranchers are terrified to leave their families in their homes. And this is, this is the answer. This is what you got. Shameful. It is shameful. I'm embarrassed. And yes, I encourage my colleagues to vote no on the No Ban Act. And I, thanks, I thank you for the time and thank you, uh, Mr. Ranking Member, for the opportunity. God bless America. Gentlemen, it's time has...